Good morning. Do you have your cup of tea? Let's start off in the usual way by just feeling the warmth of the teacup on our fingers. Maybe you wiggle around a little to find a comfortable spot. Feel the weight of the teacup in your hands and allow those sensations to take up all of your focus, to really ground you here in this moment, to pull all of your attention right to this place so that just for a little while you can be focused without distraction just on your teacup. You can take a deep breath and smell the aroma of your tea. Mm. Today I have some Angelica in here and it smells really delightful, earthy and spicy. You can smell your tea and think about the smell let that remind you of the plant itself. And let all of your attention be focused on that. You can take a sip if you like and feel the warmth of the tea in your mouth and the flavor over your tongue. And while you just enjoy being right here in this moment with your teacup, knowing that for right now, there's nothing that you need to do. And there's nothing that you need to know. There are no questions that need to be answered. Just to be here. That's something that's been on my mind a lot lately. That in our culture, we're obsessed with knowing things now. It's false, actually. It's false as in a facade. You can know that two plus two is four right now, but most things you can't know immediately, despite the fact that most of us have all the power of the internet in our pockets. We can look up answers quickly. That's not the same as knowing. Knowing takes time. It takes development. And so it takes patience and stillness while we wait for real knowledge. That's the antithesis of our culture right now. If you're learning herbalism, you may have experienced friends who expect you to be an expert right away because that's our cultural expectation these days. But it takes a long time. It takes a long time to truly get really deep into something so that you know it, not in your mind, but in your core, you really know. Kind of like with parenting, when you first have a child and you're like, they don't come with instructions, I don't know what to do but maybe you've had a lot of kids and maybe they're all grown. Maybe you're a grandparent. And even though every kid is different and every situation is different, there's stuff you just know. Maybe your own kids come to you with questions about their kids and you know. But it took time to develop that. It takes time to develop that knowledge of herbalism too, to really know a plant, to know it when you see it, to be sure that you know who you're looking at, to know it when you taste it. It comes, but it takes time. And our culture doesn't really value patience. But right now, 
in this very uncomfortable, very unknowing time. Are the stores going to open back up? Are we all going to go back to work? Are we staying home for the whole rest of the year? We don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. The news reports are all over the place. Maybe that's driving you a little bit batty. But the reality is we just don't know. And that's uncomfortable. And also wonderful because it is a chance for us to learn to sit calmly with the discomfort of just not knowing. It's a chance for us to develop a kind of patience that our culture doesn't value right now. And so even though the patience that we need to develop our knowledge with herbalism is a little bit different than the patience that we need to sit through this weird unknowing time. We can use this time as an exercise to develop that kind of patience, that kind of calmness with not knowing. Just letting it be okay to say, hey, I really don't know. When are you gonna know? I don't know. It's freeing, actually. It's freeing to allow yourself to not have to know everything, to not have to be an expert. Just take that pressure off yourself. You don't have to know it all. Right now, the only thing you need to do is feel the warmth of your teacup on your fingers. Breathe in the aroma of your tea. Think about the plants that are in your cup. Think about how they're working in your body. Taste them on your tongue and feel the warmth of the tea or the coolness if maybe you're drinking a cold infusion. Feel it as it goes down towards your belly. And just be in this place as still as you can be, as calm as you can be. And when those feelings start to get wobbly, that's okay. Just come back to your teacup and feel the warmth on your fingers and breathe in the aroma and have another sip. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another cup of tea.